what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here. Happy to bring you a classic lesson right now. We're going to need a capo on the sixth fret. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, also, hey, let me know what uh, songs you want to learn. Subscribe to this new channel of mine. Take the new journey, the next chapter with me. I really appreciate it. Um, like the video, leave comments. You know, definitely tell me what you would like to learn and, and I read it. So thank you for the support. Let's zoom in though and break this one down. Uh, I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. You know, it's always nice to have in the repertoire. So let's zoom in and break it down. Here we go. All right, and we're back. Um, capo goes on the sixth fret. And then so we pretend this is zero. One, two, three. Middle finger goes there and we play a G chord. And I'm gonna have my pinky on the third up of the high E, ring finger on the third up of the B. And we'll work on some rhythms. Uh, the Jeff Buckley version, he's doing some finger picking. I'm gonna use a pick. We'll start real basic, because the chords are basic, but then we'll, I'll show you some spicy rhythms potentially there. Uh, so we go like this, the fourth, the fifth, no. Um, it goes like this. And we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, ten, ten, ten. So it's G to E minor. And we're going to use a walk down and walk up note, which is the second fret up from the capo on the low E. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so that's kind of the in-between the verses and whatnot. So then uh, you don't have to do that walk up and down note when you're when the verse starts. So uh, So that's the first part of the verse and it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And then a C chord. C, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it holds on C a little bit longer than the other chord. So check it out. G, 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 E minor. So here it is without me saying all that stuff. So the next section, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth. It's a G, G, G to C, D. So it goes like this, the C, the D, the E minor, then the C, then a D, B7 to the E minor. So let's do it from the very top with the walk down. Here comes the vocals verse.
next part of the verse. G, 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 to C to D, E minor, then the C, then the D, B7 to E minor. And so uh, that B7 is the second fret with the middle finger on the A, index on the first of the D, ring finger on the second of the G, and then pinky on the second fret of the high E. And so that's the verse, and then it goes into the words hallelujah, which is a C to E minor. Hallelujah. C to E minor. Then the C again. G, D, G to the top. So let's do that whole thing again. Here's the top of the verse. Heard there was a G, then E minor, G again, E minor again, C, C, D, G, D, G, C, D, E minor, then the C, D, D, B7, to E minor. The hallelujah part, hallelujah. Alicia G D to the top G to E minor G to E minor again C minor chord C chord G D top So the second verse is a little different it, uh, but if you played it the exact same way it's still going to work but there's a, a little different little chord bit at the end of the second verse. So it starts the same. G, E minor, G, E minor, C, C, D, G. So that's all the same, right? Then G again. Now instead of D, it's E minor. E minor, B7, G. And then the hallelujah is the same. So here's that second verse again. E minor, G, E minor, now C, 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 D, G. Now G, C, D, E minor, C. Now back to E minor, E minor, B7. Is weird, but that's what it does. Then Halasia, 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 G D G. 
remember, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And when it goes to the D, you play the D with your middle finger off. And you can hammer on that second fret of the high E there. And then the other thing is we're going one, two, three, four, five, six. And all the chords in the song, any note you pick is not a wrong note. So if you're a little bit of strumming and a little bit of picking, and you're thinking one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can just randomly pick the notes. But, you know, uh, for a C chord, it's good to start with that root note. You know, any group of one, two, three, four, five, six, like one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six. The D chord. So for the G chord, it's great to start, you know, for all the chords, it's great to start on the root when you're doing a picking pattern. So for G, for instance, I was going. So I'm hitting the low bass note and then I'm skipping over to the G string. the D chord, it's this D string. And for the C chord, you can hit the A string and then skip over to the G. For the E minor, you could do the same thing as you do on G. want to feel that one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six
And another thing, I'm planting my pinky here for support when I'm doing a picking thing like that. Um, you know, some people might want to use their fingers and try that. Uh, I think this is a great starting point, though, you, though for you to be playing the song. So I hope it helped. All right, we broke it down and we did it. So hopefully you had fun uh, learning some guitar with me. Uh, please let me know what you'd like to learn by leaving a comment, subscribing to this channel of mine. Thank you for the support. Um, and that's it for now. Until next time, stay classy.